Hi everyone and welcome back to my weekly vlog. I hope you guys are well. By the way, I'm not naked. I am wearing a bikini. <laughs> I look naked, I am not. Um, oh God, my voice. I still sound so freaking tired from the weekend. Um, oh, I just had so much fun the last two weeks celebrating Alice and my sister getting married this summer and I don't know I just felt so free I feel like we forgot about coronavirus and just felt so normal I just had a laugh and like I was just so nice the last two weeks and now I just have nothing and I feel so deflated and I feel like I have like hen party blues or something is that even a thing um I, yeah I'm just so like meh. My voice sounds so tired. I actually feel okay, but for some reason my voice is just, maybe it's the alcohol um, that I drank at the weekend. Oh, I don't know though, I just feel so like meh at the moment. I feel like the last two weeks have been so busy and full on getting, you know, organized with all these celebrations. And now there's just nothing to look forward to. Obviously they're weddings, but again, with my sisters, we don't know if it's 100% gonna go ahead because it's in Ibiza, the end of July. So I'm praying to God that Ibiza goes green before the end of July and she can get married and it will all be good. And then there's talks of delays potentially to the 21st of June day and my friends get married on the 26th of June. I don't know. I just feel like life is still so up in the air and it's just a bit depressing because I feel like we had been given such positive news from the government about these dates and I know they said you know it's date and not dates but you do kind of I don't know it, well it's been going on for so long now you'd think a lot of people are vaccinated a lot of people are double vaccinated they've opened up vaccinations to 25 to 29 year olds you just think like life would be going back to normal and I keep, keep seeing lots of people abroad and I don't know like living normal lives on social media and I still feel like I'm in this little like bubble of, I don't really know what's going on with my life. I mean, I would probably all feel like that. Um, oh, I don't know, it's just a bit annoying, but I'm just so like meh, and I can't be bothered to work either at the moment. I'm just so like meh with work and everything. I don't really know, but anyway, that's why I got my bikini on, because I thought, do you know what, it's sunny. I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna soak up some sun, I'm gonna read a book, I'm gonna listen to some tunes and relax and just take some me time to just, yeah, I don't know, I feel like I need that. Um, but it's actually mine and Robin's anniversary tomorrow. So it's our three-year wedding anniversary. It also marks 11 years since my dad died. So it's kind of like, yeah, a sad day, but also a lovely day at the same time. Um, and yeah, I actually just booked a restaurant to go to tomorrow evening in London. We just thought, you know what, let's just go to London because we can, let's just get, get away. Um, we're only going for the night, but I booked this place called Monkey House. I actually saw it on Sarah Ashcroft's Instagram. She always eats out at the most amazing place. So I went on her like restaurant highlight and I had a little look. Um, and she went to this place called Monkey House. And it's kind of like a club, but you have dinner and they play like good music and there's like a DJ and stuff. I think there's live music every Wednesday. So I don't know. It sounds like a vibe. I'll bring you guys along and we'll see what it's like. Uh, but the food is like kind of... Latin America, a bit of sushi, like meats, it looks amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna shut up now, let's go outside. Guys, I started reading Healing is the New High from Vex King. I've had it upstairs for ages, just haven't had a chance to start reading it yet, but oh, I just need to share this like little extract because, where is it, is it on this? Because I feel like this is what has just happened to me. Certain highs produced by taking synthetic or natural drugs or alcohol or feeding an addiction to food, sex work or social media. Obviously, I'm thinking alcohol at the weekend and obviously like maybe social media, like having a good time. Basically, to name a few, um, make us feel as though we've transcended our struggles, but that feeling is temporary. At best, it leaves us needing more of that high just to get through the days. And at the worst, the high is followed by a low that's deep, dark, and may feel intensely desperate. And I'm like, I feel like that's kind of what's happened to me like this last weekend, a couple of weekends really, where I've like had such a high from like getting drunk and being happy and feel, feeling free and just like having such a good time. And now, I'm on a low, but actually I've been feeling quite low for a while now. 
and I feel like that's kind of it's it's like a false high and yeah because I'm kind of try, trying to cover up the fact that I am feeling low so I'm just like I've given myself a bit of a false high and now I'm low again I don't know really interesting I'm up to like basically kind of starting the journey in the book now but I've put it down just to like let me process the first part of this book um, before I go ahead with it but yeah super interesting already um I've heard great things about it so oh someone is ringing so guys someone's ringing me um yeah heard great things about it so I'm really really excited to properly start it I'm going to share it with my counselor tomorrow actually um that I'm using this book but yeah it's all about inner healing which I feel like I've been on a journey of healing already but I feel like I'm going through like the next part of this journey and I just felt like this book maybe was a good time to start it um yeah oh my god honestly I just sound so tired at the moment but I feel like I just want to get out of the house I've been in the garden for a couple of hours sunbathing but it's going to be a bit cloudy um so I've just put a little dress on put my hat on and I just feel like I might go out for a walk maybe pop into town get a coffee or something um yeah just feel like I need to just need to go out I think I'm also definitely putting off doing finishing, cleaning bits after the hen party. I just don't have it in me. So the house is probably going to be messy for a few more days until I can be bothered to get around to it. Hey guys, oh, we are outside. I am tanning. I mean, I should have probably put bikini on, but it's fine. I've got Robin's hat on really loose as well. Basically, got ready this morning because um, we're going out to London for dinner tonight. It's our three year wedding anniversary today. Um, so yeah, we thought we would go out for dinner. We've booked this place called Monkey House. Um, I think I mentioned it to you the other day. Um, so yeah, I've like done my makeup and I'm basically ready for the day. And then I was like, actually, let's sunbathe for a few hours. Um, I've got counseling today as well. Um, and it's also, um, 11 years since my dad died today so yeah it's kind of like one of those days where it's a bit sad and happy um so i'm probably going to go to his grave and drop off some flowers soon i just ordered a starbucks as well i feel like that's our thing now we keep ordering starbucks for lunch like daily um but yeah just ordered a starbucks i've got an iced vanilla latte coming I'm gonna have some lunch outside and um, soak up some sun because this weather is amazing. I think it's like, well, how, how hot is it right now? It's like 23, 24 degrees or something. It's mental. Rob's is in the shade. One of us has to be in the shade for the dogs. Otherwise, they sit in the sun. Um, 23 degrees. 23 degrees. So good. Still need to tidy the pergola. There's a lot of balloons everywhere. And the balloons keep popping. The confetti keeps going on the floor, which is annoying. But look at that blue sky, guys literally feels like we are aboard had these flowers left over from my sister's hen party which i thought looked really really cute and i thought it was a nice touch actually so i'm gonna lay these on my dad's grave oh just had counseling it was hard today obviously it being 11 years since my dad died so that obviously came up and oh yeah i just need to get myself together again but it's hard it's a hard journey. I feel like the grief is coming out, but I feel like I'm gonna, I might talk to you about it all in another video another time. Um, Cause I'm going to London now and I thought I'd show you guys what I'm wearing. So we're going to quite like a bougie kind of dinner DJ club place called Monkey House. So I'm wearing these ghost gold satiny trousers. I've got my new boots on from Vagabond that I got in London last time. Actually, you guys did not come with me when I went to London last time, but I got these boots. Um, I just wanted some nice, like, creamy white boots that are low heel, really, really nice. They're so comfy. And then, yeah, these trousers from Ghost, which I got in an ASOS sale. Again, they're just so comfy, and they're just, like, really nice kind of, like, dinner, summer dinner trousers. Then this little top that I got from Depop. It's been handmade, um, which I love. And then I've just finished off with some gold jewellery and this kind of like greeny mustardy um, goldy coloured headband. I flicked my hair out and yeah, this is my outfit. Let's go to London. 
made it to London and we are just trying to find Monkey House. It's somewhere along here. Right, found it. I'm going in. This is very swanky. taking off all my lipstick but guys we've just come out I'm so freaking full <laughs> I'm so bloated <laughs> but I have to say that is up there with probably one of one of the best restaurants we've ever been to the music was amazing there was a live band it was like bongo drums a singer the songs were great they had like an Ibiza kind of vibe DJ Robin I'm real mate he Every single, I should have filmed it's this. So good. Every single thing that he ate, he so was good. doing like the an expression. So he was like, "Oh wow!" Or joke. like, I should have filmed everything he the ate. Food was a joke. Food was amazing. We had like tacos, sushi, tuna tartar. Oh yeah, yeah. Cocktails. The cocktails, tuna, the cocktails tartars, were so tartars, good. Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah. It was amazing. Like we we are going back. It, it's expensive, but. Worth it. You get what you pay for, and the food is incredible. I don't know who's thought of that menu. <laughs> the broccoli didn't even taste that like broccoli. No, the broccoli didn't taste that like broccoli. It was like smoky, like chili, it sesame the... seed. It's oh, it was so good. He's coming, he's coming. We are just waiting for an Uber now to pick us up, and we're going to go back to Liverpool Street and head home. But oh, I feel like I need a good nap as well on the on the train because I'm so <laughs> full, I'm so bloated. <laughs> oh, morning, guys. I'm tired today. <laughs> Oh, I feel like I'm tired every day. At the moment, I'm just... This week is kind of a bit of a write-off for me in terms of, like, being productive. <laughs> I'm just like, I need to film a YouTube video and I'm just like, I can't be bothered. I just can't be bothered. Uh, I'm just tired and I'm just bored of this, like, samey, everyday life. Like, I want my routine to be more exciting <laughs> and it's not and the weather is like it's really muggy today sorry you probably hear those sirens it's really muggy today it's cloudy it's not sunny it's just a bit sad um but yeah i hope i'm getting on again i need to put some lipstick on and film this video maybe put a scrunchie on or something oh yeah i just I need to, I don't know what I need, but something needs to change because I just, I don't know, yesterday I felt like quite good in terms of like, I thought, right, I'm going to be productive tomorrow and now it's got here. I'm like, <laughs> do you know what? I just want to be having fun every day. I just want to be having fun every day. That's it. I just want to be out and about. I want to be doing fun things and having a cocktail and it's not a lot to ask for, is, is it really? But. I feel like there's not really much to do at the moment. Oh my god, <laughs> I've got an eyelash stuck on my vagina. How the hell did that get there? <laughs> um, I don't know, I feel like, no, there is loads to do at the moment, but it's just like, I don't know, it's hard. I don't know why that's feeling a bit like meh. It's just, there's stuff to do, but like, the stuff that I enjoy, it's just not accessible at the moment, like travel. Thought I was going to have that back in my life, but who knows? I do have a trip booked on the first the first week of July. And me and Robin are like, do we cancel it? Do we not? We just don't know what to do. A lot of other people are travelling right now. Oh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. We need to have a little think and see what happens. Um, obviously, like we love going to festivals. There's just nothing on. To be fair, actually, we have got a little festival-y thing booked mid-July, which is in our local uh, park. It's like an Ibiza vibe thing. So that should be fun if it goes ahead. But obviously, this potentially delays 
on the 21st of June date, so who the hell knows? I just feel like it's never ending. <sighs> Where are you going again? Right, I need to film this video. Oh, so, after all that, me telling you that I had a holiday booked the first week of July, <laughs> just had emails to say my flights have been cancelled. Yay! Basically, yeah. It doesn't look like I will be going on that holiday. Oh, sad times. Oh, we, uh, we've had such a busy, like stressful morning. Um, I randomly booked a table for lunch today at a local hotel on their terrace because I thought the weather's going to be nice. Let's actually get out of the house and do something. And um, we went to the gym this morning as well and I booked the table for half one. It's already half one and we're like, we wanted to walk there but I didn't have enough time to get ready, so now we're in the car. Um, but hopefully it won't be too late. But yeah, just um, thought we'd go out for lunch. Um, I have no idea what food they do in the day, but we've been to this restaurant before for, well, I think it was my birthday or our anniversary like a few years ago, and it was really, really lovely. And I've been there for afternoon tea and stuff. So um, yeah, we're gonna check out what they've got for lunch. And it's so nice and warm. And I'm gonna take a cute little pic as well. Food has come. I've gone for a risotto, and Robin has got oh, fish goujons, and they look so good. They do look good. Oh my god, it looks so bad. Just been sat on the chair, and my <laughs> the chair's imprinted in my leg. We've been cheeky and got a sticky toffee pudding. How incredible does it look, Robin? Unreal, mate. <laughs> oh, I needed that food. I only had a bowl of cereal before the gym and yeah, I just felt a bit funny afterwards. Weight training is hard for like, you need like proper energy and food in you before you train. Um, but yeah, home now and we're gonna have a little bit of a tidy up. I've got my sister and her fiance coming around tonight. We're gonna get a takeaway. Thought, you know, may, may as well utilize this lovely weather because next week it is raining. <laughs> yeah, fun times. Um, but yeah, gonna tidy up the house. I've got some parcels that I need to open. I've actually got one in front of me right now. What is this? Oh yeah, this is this amazing skincare brand. I don't know how to pronounce it. Omorovixa? Om Omorovixa Budapest. I've got a Midnight Radiance Mask. A thermal cleansing balm. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Omorovitsa. Omorovitsa. Pronunciation. Great. From the brand. Put to put that in there. Needed that. Ooh, a gentle buffing gel. Oh, cleansing. Exfoliant cleansing gel. Evening mist. Oh my god, I bet that's amazing. A firming serum. This brand, honestly, is like really luxurious and oh i just cannot wait to try their products they just sound amazing also got sent something from anastasia beverly hills what we got oh lip balms strawberry lip balm coconut lip balm and a mango lip balm literally three of the best flavors oh cushioning hydrating a lip balm formula that hydrates and smooth lips i need all of those in my life because my lips are always dry. Goodies from Milk Makeup and Good Dye Young, supporting LGBTQIA plus community. So we've got goodies from Milk, Grip Primer, Lip and Cheek, Lip Plumper. What else have got? I do love Milk Makeup. Refresh Spray. Another lip plumper. Oh, I've got the mascara, which is so good. Okay, I've got some dye from Good Dye Young. Never actually tried their dye before. And then also a candle. Smell the candle, because you guys know I freaking love a candle. Oh my God. Oh, that smells unreal. Oh, love this. So for every candle purchased, Good Day are giving a portion of the proceeds to the LGBTQ plus family and friends via the Trevor Project. Amazing. Oh, God. Delivery from 
Press On Nail Brand. Oh my God, I love these. Trey She. Oh my God, they're amazing. <gasps> they are sick. Ooh. Kind of like ombre, like matte nails. <gasps> Cow print. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Holographic. <gasps> More holographic. Oh my God, look at those. And finally, oh, are they clear? Can we paint on them maybe? Ooh. It's amazing seeing lots of brands supporting Pride this month. So this is from Key and they're donating 100% of proceeds from the collection in June to Mermaids, UK's leading LGBTQ plus charity. So they have launched these, which actually launched today. How amazing are these? Oh, I'm kind of loving this like sunset rainbow lens vibe going on. Love those. What else is in there? Oh, we've got a little pride martini. Then there's Zero by Skin Academy have launched on Feel Unique. And this brand's actually amazing. So it's sustainable. It is 100% natural, plant-based skincare. It is a vegan. So we've got an eye cream. We've got a face wash, face scrub. This, this is great. We've got a facial oil. How amazing. What's this? Night cream. Day cream. Hand and nail cream. Guys, this brand is amazing. Your skin, our planet. Love that. Available and feel unique. It's 9.45 and I'm all dressed and ready. It's Saturday and I am about to head to London. I'm going to meet um, CH32 Charlotte Hull. Um, you might follow her on Instagram. Um, basically, I have not seen her since my 30th birthday party last year in September. It's been a long time and we are going for a, a boozy brunch um, at a place called Lucky Cane, I think it's called. Um, it's like a tiki kind of themed restaurant bar. They do insane cocktails. It's a three course menu. I think it's like kind of like asian -y food like rice noodles spring rolls that sort of thing and yeah so excited for this so excited to catch up with her because honestly not seen her in so so long the sun is shining and let me show you what i'm wearing i have got on this crochet cord from shop fluffy how beautiful is it got a really bad tan line there um i had it last summer when i did my crochet reels video and i thought i'd wear it today because it's super cute it's summery and also it's quite lightweight like i've laid it with like a bra and some cycling shorts because obviously it's quite see-through um but yeah and then i paired it with some white booties cute and then also i paired it with these sunflower daisy earrings earrings daisy earrings they're daisies they're not sunflowers daisy earrings gold jewelry because i might try and get a cute pick today also got these amazing sunglasses with a yellow flower chain. They are from, let me find the name, The Hippie Shake. That's it. They're from The Hippie Shake. Such a beautiful sunglasses. I've actually got, um, actually sent me some really cute outfits, which I want to do like a 70s styling video. I feel like that will go down really, really well. I like do like 70s makeup, 70s hair, finish with 70s styling. These sunny G's, absolutely beaut. And then I've actually got the hat that matches this crochet cord as well. If I take a cute pic today, just in case, you know, just in case for the gram. Uh, but yeah, gonna head to London, let's go. guys we have come to primrose hill how beautiful is the view sun is shining sun is and shining. we've got cocktails. Cocktails. Pina yes hi guys 
I am in my garden and I'm sunbathing because it's Sunday. I'm a little bit fragile from yesterday. I had a lot to drink. <laughs> um, but it was really cute. It was so nice to see Charlotte. And yeah, we did the boozy brunch, which was so good, by the way. I highly recommend it. The staff in there were amazing. Um, it literally felt like you were abroad. They were like, oh, come over to St. Lucia. Like each table was like themed with like an island. It was really fun. They gave us like the, what they called the little flower necklace things. What are they called? I can't think of the name. But yeah, you know what I mean. Um, and then we had the cocktails. Cocktails were so good. The food was amazing. So that was at Lucky Cane. I'll pop a link below. I think it was like £45 each. But um, Shah had a voucher that she'd won. So yeah, basically she got it for free. But um, yeah, she had like a virgin voucher. But yeah, really cute. And then we walked down the canal in London all the way to Primrose Hill. So nice, that's such a nice day. I actually like burnt my back, which is annoying because I put sun cream on me yesterday all over, apart from one little section on my back that I couldn't quite reach, but I thought I'll be fine because I'm wearing my backpack. But then obviously I didn't realize we'd be like sitting in a park, kind of just like went with the flow yesterday and um, ended up burning my back annoyingly. But I've got my sun cream on all over today. Um, I've got on my bikini from Kai Collective, so basically I've tied it up like this, but these are like proper long straps that you can kind of adjust um, however you want to wear it basically. You can like tie it around your waist, you can tie it around your neck, it's really cute. I will pop a link below if you guys want to check it out. It's um, one of my blogger friends brands and yeah, it's just so beautiful. I love it, so nice. Um, and yeah, I've got a cold Coke and I'm gonna have some lunch. I'm just gonna sunbathe and chill, listen to some tunes. I've also got, where is it? My Healing is the New High book out. Probably gonna read a little bit of that as well. And just soak up the sun because it's meant to rain a couple of days next week, which is super annoying. Um, but yeah, I just thought, have some more me time and just, yeah, utilize the sunshine whilst it is here. Because we know what the UK is like. It's definitely raining next week, which is so sad. Uh, but yeah, it's like, how hot is it right now? Let's have a look. Like, I think it's like 23 degrees or something. I'm gonna just take a picture on stories and see how hot it is. 24 insane. Oh, by the way, I'm not naked. I have my bikini top on. Um, I've just come in. I'm so hot. I ended up taking my nails off outside as well. Um, I'm literally sweating. But I've come in because I just need to do a few emails, work out my diary. I feel like I need to get back to work. I need to get my mojo back. So I've got a few bits and bobs to do next week. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd come in and do a bit of work now and just have a bit of a break from the sun. I've been out there literally all day. Um, it's actually been so nice though. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd sign off here, guys. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. Um, and I will see you guys in another one very, very soon. Take care, stay safe, and peace out.